Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today, or actually the upcoming days, we will be opening all of this P.O. Books mail. Now, I'm saying the upcoming days because as you might be able to tell from the lighting, it's actually already pretty late, but I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to open some of this mail. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second, but um, I don't want to open all of it now because I do have to go to bed soon. Um, and I also want to, you know, spread it out a little bit. I'm probably going to turn this into two videos. Um, one of these boxes, actually this one, I'm thinking of doing a whole separate video for that. I have opened it. I'll show you a little sneak peek. But this is like the sneak peek I got as well, because when I opened it, I realized what it was. And I realized that I want to do a separate video for that. Well, first of all, I want to explain to you why I am not whispering, but talking a little bit more softly. And that is because it is night time. I have neighbors. I have no clue if they'll ever, if they ever are able to hear me speak. But if they are going to hear me speak, it's probably when it's more quiet. And I don't know. I don't want to <laughs> annoy anyone. Uh, we have a little baby next door, so they are probably already in their evening routine. Oh goodness! The first tea I grab is a sweet dreams tea, which. I'm probably going to try. I'm unable, incapable of pronouncing things correctly. And that is also because I'm quite tired. Another thing I want to tell you is that I made a little clip for you. I will hopefully play it here. Hello. Um, because tonight is a very special night because I have news in my craft room. Yay! If you are here, if you watch my videos um, more often, you will know that I have two cats. Nus is the original gangster cat, the OG cat, um, our first kitty, and then Sage is the second one. She's a little bit younger, and Sage, the little one, is the dominant one, so she kind of... Um, bullied Nuz away from her spot as the original video cat. Nuz would always come on my table when I was crafting and a lot, you would see a whole lot of Nuz in my videos but ever since we got Sage, Sage has kind of taken over Nuz's spot in the craft room which is always a little bit sad but the other day I closed the door of the craft room to kind of lock Nuz in here but more importantly lock the little one out and it works because Nus was extremely relaxed, extremely at ease, and she's once again uh, sleeping in my craft room. And today I did that again. I locked Nus in, and she was immediately fine with it. The previous time she got locked in, she was a little bit angry, like "Hello, <laughs> let me out." Um, but this time she immediately knew that it was time for some Vivian Nus craft room time and that just makes me so happy it's so good to see her here again i mean i love sage our other cat but it's really really good to see her so at ease again as well because they fight a lot i tell that in a lot of videos but my cats our cats they fight a lot so it's really nice to see her in the craft room here again that makes me incredibly grateful i have the biggest smile on my face <laughs> then of course i have my tea which oh, is always a happy moment of my day and then probably most importantly I have all of this meal but yes February 12th was my birthday and I had quite a nice day I always hate my birthday which is a little bit dramatic but today was a really good day um, my boyfriend woke me up with breakfast in bed which is probably if you have to wake me up, you gotta do it with breakfast in bed, so that was really nice. And then the rest of the day I didn't really do anything, I just played The Sims and I don't know. <laughs> I watched some Netflix and then I cleaned the house and then my parents came over and we went out for dinner. We had a really lovely dinner and they also took me to the P.O. box beforehand, which was so fun because once again the email notification system said that there would not be a lot of mail in there. And then I found all of this, which is literally insane. And the funniest thing happened, don't worry, I am going to open this meal in this video, but it's my birthday, I get to do what I want. Um, 
like my PO box is in this storage unit company so you have to type in the code then you have to go in and then normally you'd have to go through the entire building to get out but what I like doing when I'm with the car because usually I'll just go on my bike type in the code get my mail go through type in code number two go through type in code number three but now that I was with the car what I like to try and do is type in the code, run in, grab my mail, run back out before the door closes. So I ran in, grabbed my mail, but then I heard footsteps, which is weird because I'm usually there alone. And it was actually the guy from the P.O. Box company who came to bring me these two little boxes because that flat box that I just showed you, this one, was in my PO box, so I naturally assumed that that was going to be the only box. But then he came to me with these little boxes and he was like, yeah, I thought I recognized you and I thought I would just come and bring you your packages. And I laughed so hard because he does not recognize me from my YouTube channel. They don't, I, I'm fairly certain, but he just recognizes me because I am the girl who always gets the incredibly colorful meal. This cracks me up every time because there's more people with PO boxes and I can also sometimes see into the PO boxes because they have like the mailbox slot that is open. All of their mail is boring. Also when they open the mailbox in front of me, all of the mail they receive is boring. It's business meal, it's um, what do you call those? Like uh, folders, it's flyers, it's boring business basic meal and then you get this whole bunch so all of the stuff that work there they know me because i'm the only non-business person that comes there to pick up her non-business meal so he actually recognized me and he thought he would come and bring me these cute little boxes i just i don't know that cracks me up so much and what I don't know, it was funny for me, but it was also funny for my parents to see that because I, I sometimes tell them about my PO box, tell them about all of the incredible mail I, I receive, sometimes I'll send them a picture, but they never really understand. And then for them to see also the PO box guy who works there recognizing me because I always get this mail, that was just incredibly funny for them to see. And then also for them to see me come out with all of this, they just cannot believe it. I mean, I deal with this on a monthly basis, like seeing all of this with my name on it and then being in complete shock. But for them, it was kind of new. And of course I tell them that I receive a lot of mail, but for them to actually see it was a whole other thing. And they were like, and my mom was like, what's in it? What's in it? Like, <sighs> and I also, I had to open this little box because I don't know, I had to open something just to show her and I'm going to show you as well what was in it because it's absolutely insane like you guys see me do these videos this is video number 28 I think you see me do 28 of these PO box openings sometimes two videos sometimes three videos so let's say you've seen me do 50 of these PO box opening videos but they've never seen me and my mail and it's it was just such a crazy moment for them to also kind of realize like oh this actually happens and my mom also my dad my parents they were like but why <laughs> why do people send you this meal and i'm like i don't know <laughs> because people are incredibly kind and because they want to send me something and i don't know that just it all brought such a huge smile to my face i always hate birthdays um like when i was a little kid i would like my birthday but then when you get older you realize that birthdays are not actually that fun <laughs> you realize that um i don't know there's a lot of pressure on birthdays you always have to have fun people expect you to throw a party i became today excuse me today i turned 25 so naturally people assume that you're gonna have like some big birthday bash because it's your magical 25th and that's just so much social pressure that I cannot deal with. So usually I will hate my birthday and then today, I don't know. I was just really happy. I also had to work yesterday, um, just checking if the camera, the camera is gonna run out soon, so I'm gonna switch it around. But yesterday I had to work and I didn't tell any of my coworkers because I don't know, I didn't want them to know. I didn't want that kind of hanging in between us. But then at the end of the night, I did tell them like, yeah, 
you know, tomorrow is my birthday. And they were all like, no, it's not. I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> Do you want to see my ID? Tomorrow is my birthday. And then they were so nice. Like they, they wanted to drink something with me. Like, let's like celebrate your birthday. Let's have a toast on your birthday. And then even at exactly 12 o'clock when it was officially Wednesday the 12th, uh, one of my co-workers, he grabbed a bunch of sandwich, like, um, little breads that we always eat after work. We always dip them into dips, I don't know. We always eat these breads. He just grabbed a few of these breads and then he put some uh, sparklers in them, you know, like the little fireworks. And he lit that and I don't know, it was just kind of funny. And For once, I didn't hate my birthday as much as I normally hate it. And that was a big deal for me. So sorry if I sound super soapy. Soapy is that a word? If I sound super <sighs> overly annoying today, but I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. It was just, it was weird because on the one hand, it was something I hate so much. And then on the other hand, everyone was so nice and hugged me. And I, I received, I think my coworkers make all the difference now. No, let me rephrase that. I think you guys, together with my coworkers, changed my birthday because normally I would always worry that I didn't have enough friends and now I had all of these coworkers and people who follow me on Instagram or on YouTube message me and I just, I don't know. I felt like a birthday girl and I wanted to share that with you. So, oof, okay. I felt like that story was a lot. And I don't know if it came across the way I wanted it to come across, but there was some genuine happiness in there, like people caring about your birthday. And I'm not saying that my friends and family didn't care in the past, but I think in the past I was too busy focusing on what my birthday wasn't to see what my birthday was. I think I was too busy always focusing on not having like a ton of friends to celebrate my birthday with to see the friends and the family and my boyfriend that actually did care about me. And this year, I think one of the things for sure that I've learned from all of this therapy and all of this anxiety crap is to see the things that are right in front of me. And I think all of the other years, I don't know. I, I don't think I saw them as clearly as I see them now. So we're gonna sip, oh, that is good sip some of our birthday tea before okay i just saw that one of my co-workers messaged me about all of the mail i have received i have some explaining to do no one at my workplace knows about my youtube channel this is a problem for another day um Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit nervous now and I'm going to have to explain that I have a, a YouTube channel. Um, but before I'm going to open all of this, I'm going to tell you the people I have replied to. Yeah, January 11th I filmed the video. So after January 11th, I sent mail out to Kimberly in the USA. Did I tell you already? I feel like I'm repeating myself. But if I keep January 11th as a guideline, if I already told you, I'm sorry, I'm just repeating myself, but <laughs> um, bear with me. Kimberly in the USA, Robin in the USA, and then Faith in the USA. And then in February, I definitely did not tell you about these yet. In February, I sent out a whole lot of mail. That's another thing that brought me so much joy. I uh, dropped nine pieces of mail in the mailbox at once last week. It was so much fun. I was literally beaming. I um, sent out mail. Two of these were like pen pal letters and then seven of these were P.O. box replies. replies. So one of them went to Amy, Amy B or B Amy in the UK. Uh, one of them went to Kira. You know, we all know Kira. Kira Pace in the Netherlands. I'm counting this as pen pal letter and not as P.O. box reply because She's kind of in the middle between a PO box reply and a pen pal. Um, and then I have Sarah in the USA that I replied to. I have Drastia in Indonesia that I replied to. Uh, you already saw these meals, these envelopes in my craft with me sessions. Um, but I, I'm afraid they'll take a long time before they, they arrive. 
I replied to Betty in the USA, to Luis in the UK, to Anna in Germany and to Maria in the USA. So in February I already replied to one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven and a half, because I'm gonna count Kira as a half. So in February alone, seven and a half PO Box replies, which makes me incredibly happy. And then in 2020, as a total, I replied to 10 and a half, kind of. <laughs> so that is a lot of fun. So with that aside, let us just open some mail. First of all, I have a beautiful postcard from Jane. You all know Jane, Jane Delaney, <laughs> Jane Jarve. Um, she sends me a ton of mail and she once again sent me a beautiful postcard which I will give a special place. I also saw another thing that made me happy. I saw beautiful stamps, we'll get into that. This one, oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see this all right. I also wanna film during the daytime so not all of this video will be in the nighttime. I also want to do filming in the daytime just so that you know you can get a little bit better lighting and so that I can speak up a little bit more but what was also a lot of fun is that I once again saw so many familiar names I saw so many familiar names I've got Tamara I saw Jane of course I saw Abe Abe is in his stack again I saw Hannah I saw so many people we will get into that I saw Portia and probably a lot more I saw some new names, which is a lot of fun, but I also saw some familiar names, which is, I don't know. I just always really, really appreciate that. Um, okay, I'm gonna open this box in a second. I have already opened it, but I'm gonna show you in a second. But I first wanna look at this one because when I, I was just like putting the meals on the floor and I saw a little butterfly thing going. We've got a little butterfly um, envelopes and like bug stamps going which is so much fun um but i want to open this one first because i actually took a little sneak peek just now because there's this super sturdy type oh no it's just moving around my craft room hey do you want to come onto the desk shall we make this a video like old times news don't worry ah oh, there you go there you go oh my god news is in a video Hey, you're distracting me, Luz. But what I was saying is, um, there's a super sturdy tape on the back, but it's still open, so I don't know if it's the tape or if like costumes opened it. And then I saw that there were socks inside, so I already took a little sneaky peeky. But um, I have decided to look at this some more because I only looked at the socks because you know it's socks. I love socks. But this beautiful meal is from Portia from New Zealand. Um, first of all, absolutely love the butterfly theme that's going on. These rose gold, yeah, isn't it pretty? These little rose gold butterflies, absolutely my style. Um, I saw, like I said, some more butterflies, but this definitely catches my eye. Really, really pretty. And then of course the stamps, I don't know if you can see. I think this might have taken quite a while but because I can see here, like the stamp, stamp, it says 2019. I don't know if it was actually sent in 2019, but that would mean that it has been traveling for like two months, which is kind of insane. And then, like I said, this pretty vintage looking type and then inside, let's grab all of it. Oh, more butterflies. So like I said, all I looked at were the socks. Um, they are New Zealand socks, which is already fun, but they have little sheepies on them. I actually, sh um, I actually sheep. What am I saying? I actually grew up with sheep, not like professional sheep business, but my mom always had a couple sheep because she just liked them for company. Like they're cute. They're fun to look at. They were like a little bit of farm life. Um, so I already sent a picture to my mom. Like, hey mom, now you just, I have sheepy socks. <laughs> Look how adorable they are. That's just news. And they say New Zealand and then they've got a couple different sheepies on them. That is so adorable. Absolutely love that. So they will go nice in my sock collection. I'm actually wearing some socks today that I have received in Pure Box Mail. Look, the little, Succulent ones. 
I have received so many socks from you guys. I don't know. I, I just, I get very excited about socks. And then, oh, oops, I think this one fell off. Inside, I can see some cute little butterfly things going on. We've got these, um, how would you call this? Like pop-up stickers? This one fell off, but I can easily glue that back on. <coughs> Excuse me, I can easily glue that back on and use them uh, to decorate. By the way, I'm sorry about the tea stains on my desk. I should have cleaned it. I actually cleaned my craft room today. I just vacuum cleaned it and all. But I always forget to clean my desk. Um, and then we also have these little pop-up ones. And then we've got washi samples. And yay, she gave me some of that beautiful washi tape that she also used on the front here with the beautiful gold foiling. Oh, we've got little like chipboard pieces. Craft workshop decorative shapes. We've got little buttons and little banners, a little thing that says YOLO. I really hope the light is not reflecting too badly, but that is what you get when you want to open meal at night. It's just not going to look that good. So later on in this video, hopefully we'll have some daylight. This where did you go? Or just like watercolory gold foiled, uh, what am I saying? Flower and butterfly stickers. These would be really nice for decorating like an envelope or something. Definitely gonna keep them for myself. And then we've got some craft butterflies. I think these might be like sort of similar. Very cute. Very cute. I've got, and we see some stamps. Oh, pretty. We even have a butterfly stamp. Used postage stamps with one of more of these. Hey, one more of these um, rose gold die cuts. So pretty quite like these and I do have to say um, like a lot of you already know this I like to say it every now and then but as much as I love all of the things you guys send me obviously I cannot use them all it would be kind of well not necessarily selfish but it would be impossible to keep it all for myself so I also share a lot of the presents that you guys share with me with other people so for example i could share this with pen pals who also love butterflies and i always hope that that is okay um it's not that i don't like it if i pass it along it might actually be that i like it so much that i want to share it with someone else so um but i have received some negative comments about that in the past people saying how can you re-gift people's gifts you shouldn't look at it like that it's just when you do pen paling and when you do meals like these, you're always going to reuse and re... Uh, like, if I have a pen pal that loves butterflies, obviously I'm going to share some of these with her. So don't look at it as if it's re-gifting, just look at it as sharing, <laughs> because that's actually it. Mm. And if I gift someone else something, I don't expect them to keep it all for themselves either. I mean, it's totally fine by me if people uh, share my gifts with pen pals as well. That's the fun of this whole hobby. <laughs> huh. Because I have a lot of pen pals who know that I love butterflies, so they will gift me their butterfly supplies and I will gift them my uh, vintage supplies, for example. Now, I can see that this is like a Christmas looking card. Maybe it, maybe it says Merry Christmas, Seasons Greetings. Oh, Vivian, wishing you a very merry little Christmas. Hope you and your family have an amazing Christmas and a happy new year from Portia, Joe, and Mary Joanna. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder if it's been like on the road for that long or maybe you sent it out late, which is also totally understandable because I have not managed to send out any Christmas supplies. But yeah, that makes me wonder if it's actually been on the road since 2019. That would be kind of crazy. Like last time it definitely arrived sooner but then again that is snail mail <laughs> oh my gosh i'm definitely first of all gonna put the socks aside they're going straight into my stash oh so thank you so much for that Portia. i know that there's another mail of you in the in the uh, to reply folder so hopefully i will get to reply to you soon by the way that reminds me 
I'm going to have to sad face start taking meals out again because it's nearly exploding. Look, this is the folder now. I once again cannot close it because there's so much mail in here. And mind you, these are just the empty envelopes with the letters. So this is not even the happy mail. This is not even the goodies. This is just the letters. And I already cannot close it anymore. So uh, I am sadly going to take out some meals again. I think I will have to look at how much mail is in there and how much is from back in the day but I think if you've sent me mail before August last year I'm going to take it out. I'm very sorry I will do another random draw um, but uh, the chances are so big that someone has moved or anything and hmm, I think it would be best if I would take them out. So if you sent me mail after August you should be fine you're still in the mail in the to reply folder but if you've sent me mail before August I'm very sorry I'm going to take it out it doesn't mean that I um, don't want to reply to you obviously it's all the random number draw I also realize now that I forgot to do the number draw at the beginning of this video um, because I like to I do this new thing where I pick one person from these mails and I reply to them and then I obviously do the random number draw still, but I also draw from this pile. Um, let's see how in heaven's name am I going to do this. Okay, this is not working. You're too heavy. <laughs> is that going to fall off the table? Let's hope not. Okay. I have these, these, these. Do I have all of them? Yeah, I have all of them. I'm going to start. This is number one. This is number... How many meals do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, that's an unlucky number. We have thirteen pieces of mail. Where's my phone? So we're gonna do a random number drop. This is uh number one, this is number thirteen. Okay. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> oh my little brother sorry I just got sidetracked because my little brother sent a selfie he's on a group like a skiing trip with his friends so I obviously had to open his picture that is so cute um random number draw I type in random and it's like at the top of the list because I have so many I've searched for that so many times okay I okay I just dropped one don't knock over your tea. It says number three, but that doesn't count because the number generator is still set between zero and 50. And luckily we did not receive 50, we received 13. Go. Oh, number six. Number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, okay, I took off. I took off the reply address because um, because I could like there was like a reply address sticker here. I could very easily peel it off, so I put it inside. Um, so I don't actually know who that is from. Let me just move this aside, and then we will look. So don't worry, your return address was on here, but um, instead of covering it up, I just decided to peel it off. I have not actually looked at the mail yet. It is from Emma from France. Ooh, so Emma from France. You will receive a reply, uh, I don't know yet when, uh, give me some time, but know that someday soon it is coming your way. Now first I'm going to open this little box and then we'll look at Emma's meal. I already opened this box because uh, I just wanted to show like my mom and my boyfriend a little bit of the things I sometimes receive, which this was like a perfect example because it's something handmade. It is so thoughtful and absolutely incredible. Um, this is from Puya. I you told me how to pronounce your name. Like I opened mail from her before, and uh, last time she said like the second time you pronounced it, you pronounced it right. I forgot what I pronounced it like. So Puya, I hope I really hope I hope I'm not butchering your name. I've already looked at this um, quickly, kind of, and it's filled with all this pretty crinkle paper. Um, I'm trying to carefully keep it in there because I vacuumed today and it would be so me to now knock this box over and to have to start all over again. Obviously my cats 
loved looking in this box as well I have not actually looked at this which holds tea I just saw that it holds tea I have not actually looked at the flavors but basically she made me this cute little envelope and then a beautiful album and she included her letter in here with look at that a happy Valentine's Day card it's still blank so that I can send it out I completely forgot to make Valentine's Day themed meal again even though it's one of my favorite themes where is my head? Okay, um, Porsche. I don't know what you put in your envelope, but Noose is currently headbutting it. <laughs> like she's cuddling with your meal, Porsche. I hope that makes you happy. But her letter is also in here, um, so I'm not going to open that too much. Little envelope with some tea. We've got ginger turmeric herbal tea and we've got cranberry apple herbal tea. Okay, I might actually pass that on, the cranberry tea, but that ginger turmeric that is for me because i've been sick for a week literally a week now Luce is moving around some more meal i've been sick for literally a week and i know that both turmeric and ginger are very good for that so thank you <laughs> thank you thank you i'm going to enjoy that probably tomorrow and then what she made is absolutely incredible she made me this album it's super professional like <laughs> I've never actually seen anything like it, but it's like a little memory keeping album that I well, actually she wrote in her mail that I could um, kind of like fill this up and then pass it on to someone else, which I might very well do. But I was also thinking of like turning this into like a little photo album. I don't know yet. Either one is kind of great, but look at this. It's like a little album. It opens, it has um, like little pockets, this little tuck card, little label, and then you could put pictures here. I could put things on here, <laughs> little tuck spot there. Oh my gosh, it has like a little uh, notebook even, Happy Valentine's Day, that I could write a cute little message on. And we've got more spots here like how inspiring is this for making like a happy meal little spot for another message or picture and then here I could put messages pictures goodies on the back of that oh, I love this so much and then here even three little flaps absolutely adore that so we have this and it even stands on its own like you could even pick a page you would want to display absolutely love that my partner but my boyfriend has he doesn't care for happy meal that much or I would have turned this into a, an album for him but I definitely know some people who are going to love this could definitely see this as like a friendship album or something like that really really special so thank you so much for that Puya I really really hope I'm not butchering your name um, much appreciated and so so kind mm. of course I cannot put the books in the to reply pile but I will put your little note and your address in there so hopefully one day I'll get to craft something for you <laughs> Then, like I said, this one is from Emma from France. I'm just going to take out the mail so that I can show you the envelope kind of flat. It's decorated with all of these green elements, a little sticker girl, and these gorgeous green scheme stamps. I hope the uh, light isn't reflecting on it too bad, but I love how all of these have like kind of the same color scheme. And even the airmail sticker is the same, which is kind of cool. And then we have a beautiful flip book it says hello and then it's again decorated with these sticker girls and some beautiful circle stickers some vintage stamps oh I love how you combine like that vintage book paper with some very new looking stickers very talented oh my gosh and then it looks like this is a pretty little flip book We've got ephemera, we've got two, we've got a letter. I have that same paper and I adore it absolutely. Let me just look at page one before I get ahead of myself. We've got a, a pocket that says stickers. Can I say I also love that sticker? Oh my gosh, is that from Action? I have a feeling I have something similar. 
By the way, if you have not yet seen my action haul, we'll link it down below, or it's on my channel. All of these pretty stickers. <gasps> that is pretty. All of these. So pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let me know, how do you store your loose sticker flakes? Because I usually put them in this wooden box. A little wooden box. And then I'll just grab them if I need them. Or I'll just grab some out of them if I want to make a little, little gift. But if you have a better idea, please let me know. Oh, little washi type samples. So cute. I love this map themed one. I have never seen that before. It's a pretty little washi tape samples. Smile even when it rains. Tags. Tags. Let me see. Ooh, oh my gosh. I Okay, I um, got distracted for a second, but uh, I'm going to finish this one and then I'll leave the rest for tomorrow. Mm. Um, I'm so distracted. I was looking at this little page that says ephemeras. Ooh, I actually think I recognize this and you might recognize it too. Because a long, long time ago, when I first started my um, channel, I did this video with the cactus-themed flipbook from my pen pal Jennifer, who then was not my pen pal, it was actually a swap. And then I used this page from the Flow magazine, or I think it was something from Flow that had all of these succulents, and I used this exact cactus cutout for that mail or the envelope, I don't actually remember, but I think it's the same cutout, so that is so funny. And I love how beautifully you fussy cut these. The only reason I recognize them from being from Fleur is because I can see the, the background color, it just sparks a memory. So I'm like fairly certain these are actually from Flow, but I love how carefully you fussy cut them. And then we have these birds, and if I look at these backgrounds, I'm guessing that they might also be from a Flow magazine. But that is such a clever idea. If I did not recognize this one, I would have never guessed. And then these beautiful washi type stickers. And then this is the letter with a cute little waxy with little kitty paws. That is so cute. I want to open it, but I also want to keep it intact. But I will obviously read that afterwards. Just a little bit curious. And then we have a pocket that says tea. Oh, white tea, blueberry, elderflower? Huh. Elderflower is like my favorite lemonade. Oh, I cannot wait to try that. White tea, blueberry, elderflower. And then we've got Chinese green tea, which is always good. Very healthy as well. I'm actually gonna pop them straight into the little basket. I think I'll put this one aside so I can drink that in the morning and then this one as well. Oh, it's filling up nicely. A little tea and then that is the end of the flip book. Beautiful collage. Again, I have to say that I love how you're combining the vintage book page with these colorful envelopes and I love your color scheme. So me. So thank you so much, Emma. Um, you will definitely be getting a reply. It might take a little while, but um, you will know that it's on its way. <laughs> um, I'm going to sleep now. I will see you again uh, in the morning. I'm going to open the rest of the meal.